hobbling around on his old, weathered-out, formerly 400-pound body. Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. Yeah, two steps ahead of me on the way to getting buried. Guys, he should be able to do that for an hour. That's zone two cardio. Coach Greg, and in today's video, we're going to see that Nikocado Avocado is still doing mukbangs. And so for a man who's always two steps ahead, why is he now doing mukbang videos? Essentially, to sum it up, he went through an eight-year journey, became morbidly obese at 400 pounds, then starved himself, probably used Ozempic, essentially lost all his muscle is so out of shape that now dancing for a couple of minutes injures him and he's back to doing YouTube videos, doing mukbangs. How do you think that's going to work out for him? But no, he's two steps ahead. Guess who's here? <laughs> Hi. Nikocado <laughs> Avocado has come to visit me for my birthday this month. And so in his third video back, he's doing a video with Hungry Fat Chick. The name speaks for itself. It speaks volumes, as in it represents how fat this chick really is. She's a hungry fat chick. And she's sitting next to Nikocado Avocado, who's less than half of her size, but yet she still does what she does. She's trying to lose the weight, yet she's doing mukbang videos. And Nikocado is sitting next to her and doesn't know what to do. He seems different. He doesn't seem so evil. He almost appears to be, dare I say, normal. I genuinely thought it was cool that he did this video with her. He went to her place and recorded this with her, knowing that this is going to be, you know, huge for her channel. And so is it really a good thing to do? He goes on her channel and does a mukbang video with her. She needs to lose weight. She's so fat that she's risking her health. And so he helps her out by going and doing a mukbang video with her. Oh, but it's benefiting them. They're having such a great time. It's cheering them up. I'm going to help out Togi by going and gambling with him. Let's go and gamble away your life savings again. I'm so supportive. Would it not have been more supportive for him to go up to her and perhaps talk to her in private and not do a mukbang video? Or let's do a mukbang video together and we won't eat any junk food. We'll eat something healthy. Would that not help her? But no, let's do the regular good old mukbang videos that you enjoy. I'll help you out. I can sit on the floor. I can, I can do a lot. You know, I could walk around Walmart like two or three times. Does Nikocado really need to put a half a cup of butter onto a very large steak in order to enjoy it? Steaks already have a lot of fat. You don't need to add butter to enjoy a steak. And he should know that. He just lost 250 pounds, but here's the thing. I believe he used Ozempic and that he just simply starved himself. Very easy to lose weight if you abuse something like Ozempic. Amy Kane, known as Amy and a Half, well, she lost about 170 pounds in a year. That's a faster way to rate loss than even Nikocado. And she looks very thin in the aftermath, but she has absolutely no muscle left. You can see here, here, dancing, and so she promotes Ozempic, both during and after her weight loss. And guess what? She's now a diet coach. After being overweight, obese her entire life, she finally took a drug, lost weight in a year, and now she's helping everyone to do the same. And so, great job. All you have to do is rely on a drug, and you too can lose the weight. But at what cost? Oh, that would have been a cool thumbnail too, actually. Holding up these... Uh... <laughs> Ribs. Ribs. I love watching you eat ribs. I love watching you eat ribs. Same thing as saying to a degenerate gambler like Togi, I love watching you lose your life savings. It does something for me. When you destroy your life. And so when you all watch these videos in support of them, that is literally what you're doing to them. It's like I've got the giant belly that like makes it difficult. <laughs> I am so sorry. Does that not sound like a normal human being? Not a villain. Not someone who's two steps ahead that sees us all at ants, but somebody who can be empathetic and understand that, yeah, it's bad. I've been in your shoes. And he would never want to go back to that size. But here he is doing mukbang videos. We're back. We're back home. Shoo -doo -doo. We're home. Hello. Hello. And we're 
in a food coma. Yes, we are. I'm in a food coma now, but hey, let's now have some sugar. Look at the size of that carrot cake. And remember, it's not from my cookbook. That has a lot of calories. If you eat the cakes, cookies, muffins, and so on from my cookbook, it's going to have approximately half the calories. And so you can quite literally make your cake and eat it too. But to eat a cake of that size with all of that frosting, not low fat, low sugar frosting, it's too much. You can't continue to eat like this and expect to lose the weight. And newsflash, Ozempic doesn't burn off calories. It isn't the same as doing cardio. Ozempic reduces your appetite, but you still have to not put the food into your mouth. Everyone can lose weight. I think Nikocado Avocado did in fact prove that. He lost the weight by being in a calorie deficit, probably aided by having Ozempic, but what he did was he put the fork down. I personally don't think he did a lot of cardio. I don't think he lifted any weights. Perhaps we'll see in his weight loss journey, but if he did in fact do cardio, if he was getting in his 12,000 steps, he wouldn't be injured from simply just dancing around briefly for a TikTok video. And so that shows just how in shape he really is. The same thing that happened in um, my last video on my channel, which was uh, like cheesy noodles, where I'm like, oh, I'm good. And then I stand up, I go change the battery, get some water, I'm like, mm -hmm. whoa. He's feeling like he's in a food coma. And so now that he's had a couple of years off from doing all those mukbangs and he's back to doing it, he now understands just how bad it really is. Trying to maintain that while doing these mukbangs frequently is going to be difficult, right? Regardless of if you're on a GLP-1 medication or not, it's not like those things automatically burn calories for you, right? Exactly. He can't just continue to do mukbang videos and not expect to regain the weight. Hopefully, he's not going to resort to going to the bathroom and doing number three. Because aside from walking, say, 20, 30, maybe even 50 miles a day, he's not going to burn off all those calories in a mukbang video by simply going for a walk. I ate half a stick of butter. <laughs> I ate almost the entire... I'm going to drop this. And so think of it. He ate half a stick of butter. He needed none of that. Zero. He needed zero butter. It was a fattening piece of steak. It wasn't a beef tenderloin. It wasn't filet mignon. He did not need to add in all that butter. Nick knew going into this video, it would be a good one for Candy, right? It would, it would do well for her. And again, regardless of how you feel about them, I think that that's a nice thing to do. And so it's debatable if it's nice for him to go and help her to make more money by doing a mukbang video, which is slowly going to kill her. Or by slowly, I mean quickly. But hey, I get the argument. He's doing her a favor. He's helping her to make money. I just think he could have done a better favor in a different way. So another year on, on the... On Another, another trip around the planet and we'll make a wish. And so my wish to her is she's able to stop making mukbang videos and to lose some weight. I hope that's her wish. I hope that's Nikocado's wish. I hope that's all your wishes as this is literally what she does for a living. But perhaps she can go on a weight loss journey, document what she's doing, convert her channel, change it so that she's promoting weight loss to the world. I'm gonna have the smallest little morsel because I'm so okay. food coma already. And so perhaps he now recognizes hunger cues. He's already full. Perhaps he's stuffed. Is there any reason to go and split this cake with her? I'll just have one tiny bite. I'm already full. And I wonder why. He had half a stick of butter. And I looked it up and half a cup of butter, 90 grams of fat and over 800 calories. And so imagine if he didn't have the butter, he could have 800 calories of cake and still be at the same calorie intake, or better still. Eat the cakes from my cookbook, make it 400 calories, and be in a 400 calorie deficit, and lose weight. I don't mind getting up. Okay. Excuse me. You're getting your exercise. I right? am. Yes, you are. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but walking to the kitchen and back does not count as exercise. Exercise is planned out, continuous movement that burns calories in addition or on top of your knee, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Walking to the kitchen and back counts as your neat. It is not exercise. So my ankles are throbbing because mm -hmm. I did a TikTok where I was doing the little gritty thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so his ankles are throbbing. They're swollen and he's in pain. 
from doing that little gritty dance. Did that look like strenuous exercise that would cause your ankles to get inflamed? For a fit young man who's perhaps 31 years of age, should that be a fitness challenge for you? After doing so many rounds of it, I got in the car, I was driving back home, and it started to get like, whoa. And so he was feeling good. I've lost all the weight. And then he said, hey, I'm now going to use this newfound body to go and explore the world. He went outside, did several rounds of that. And now he's in pain. It was so strenuous. I'm out racing bikes, sprinting up mountains, and I'm 48. He's 31. And so who really is two steps ahead? I'm just like hobbling. I was hobbling into the Outback Steakhouse today to get the food. Hobbling around on his old, weathered out, formerly 400 pound body. Well, I tell you this evening, once you get back to your place, you were to you know, get some really good rest. I'm gonna be extra hobbling, don't work. coma and swollen ankles. <laughs> don't work too hard tomorrow. And so when you're morbidly obese, you don't realize how easy some of those things are. Getting in and out of a vehicle, to you that's exercise, that's hard. Wow, I'm gonna have to get out the door, walk down the steps, get into a vehicle, walk out again, record a TikTok video where I do this for maybe even double digit seconds. What do you expect? Of course you're gonna be in pain. Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. Yeah, two steps ahead of me on the way to getting buried. Guys, he should be able to do that for an hour. That's zone two cardio. That is not difficult nor strenuous. It should not cause his ankles to get swollen. I think a lot of people were like, oh, Nick is so healthy now. And I think that there's a lot more, there's a lot more to health than just losing a ton of weight. Exactly. Nick is not healthy now. Yeah, he's healthier than he was. He's a lot smaller. That's great. But when you can't do the gritty for perhaps 10 seconds, a couple of times, when driving somewhere causes your ankles to swell, it's not healthy. If my ankles got swollen from doing a 10 second dance and driving, I would be going to the hospital. There are perhaps is a cardiovascular event about to go down. How else do you describe this? When your ankles swell for no reason whatsoever, it's not normal. Same thing as if your appetite suddenly disappears from you for weeks on end, or you have trouble going to the bathroom, there's blood in your stool your skin begins to turn purple when you're working out. These are not good signs. Something is going wrong with your body. You need to listen to your body and be proactive. And when you're morbidly obese, when you're three or 400 pounds, that is your body speaking out to you in braille. It's saying something is wrong. You look at all this weight, all of us, and for all you body positive activists, you should be thinking, yeah, it's time for us to do something about it. It's time for us to lose the weight. Perhaps we need to go to the doctor. When you're 400 pounds, that is a problem. You now have a disease. You are not healthy. And when you're not healthy, you should go to the doctor and say, look, doc, do you see what I'm seeing? Could you please give me some help? I need to do something about it. I have friends, family, children, parents, whatever a puppy dog, and I want to be on this planet for as long as humanly possible. And obviously, clearly, undoubtedly, this is taking years, not days, off of my life. If you are morbidly obese, it's an emergency. The time to start doing something is now. It would be beneficial for Nick to put some muscle on, especially if you want, if he if he doesn't want to gain the weight over time. If you starve your body of nutrients, the muscles are gonna get smaller. And to build muscle, you need three main things. You need water, you need protein, and you need energy. If you're more really obese, you got plenty of energy. It's stored in your body fat. But you still need to eat the protein, drink the water, and for your body to wanna make and build more muscle, it needs a reason. A stimulus for muscle growth to occur. That stimulus, it could be lifting weights at the gym. 
Could be lifting weights at home, but you have to do something. And so please exercise, move, and use your entire body. I want everyone to lose weight. I congratulate Nick Accato for having lost the weight, but I also want him to be healthy. And as Joey Swole always says, you need to do better. And we will see you. Hi. Soon. And remember, if you're looking to put on more muscle and have better endurance in cardio, look no further than Geo2max and Turk Builder. Studies have shown that NMN, which is the main ingredient in Geo2max, improve your ability to perform cardio, give you more energy. And so if you're doing more cardio and moving more, you're clearly going to burn off more calories. It's going to help you to be in a deficit, which will ultimately help you lose weight. Turk Builder, more energy, more aggression in the gym, train harder than last time, and you're going to put on more muscle. With either of these products, if you're not happy with it, money back guarantee. And so if you're on the fence, you're not sure, money back guarantee. And remember, with the aid of the cookbook and my circle diet book, Life's Work, how to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life, get to the website, Code Greg, 15% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, do it now, subscribe, watch one of those two bloops, and of course, for coaching plans by me and my team, the Harder Than Last Time clothing line. And if you got no money whatsoever, get to the website and get the free diet and training program. It's free. It's close to 50 pages. What are you waiting for? Embark on your weight loss journey today. And until next time, I am out.